In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to make that adorable little floral swag that sits in front of your traveler's notebook. It can actually um, attach to the elastic band that goes around the front. So let's get started. So what I'm going to do is I've placed my piece of double-sided sticky tape down and I'm just going to take the biggest circle that came with your kit and set it down on top of the sticky tape. This is just going to hold everything in place so that when we're gluing the petals on everything stays where we want it to and this doesn't move while we're trying to add all of the glue. I'm also going to just set these pieces aside because we don't really need those ones right now. We're just focusing on adding the hearts. So th the kit actually comes with hearts in just slightly different sizes. So you'll see some are just a hair bigger than others. Um, the reason why we've done that is because in the real world, flowers have lots of different sizes and shapes of petals, and it just helps the flower to look a little more realistic and not so canned. So you've got lots of different options there. You can mix and match which sizes you want to stick next to each other, but that way you can really make it your own. What we found looks the best is putting eight petals on your outer edge and then five petals on the inside edge. It's up to you how you want to work it. Um, you will have enough petals to do what I just explained, but we've just found that that looks the nicest. There's not an overcrowding problem. You don't end up with big spaces where you can see the glue. It just has a nice even finished look. So let's get started with adding the petals. So what I'm going to do is using my glue gun, I'm going to add some glue to the edge and in this case less is more you don't need a whole lot of glue it'll do its job just fine with a tiny little dab and then we're going to take our first little heart and we're going to press it into place one of the nice things with using tweezers is one it just makes it easier to pick up but two if you use the pointy end of the tweezers to press down um, in to press the felt down into the glue You'll see it actually kind of starts making the petals curve, like so they come to a point almost, and it just makes it look a little more realistic. So we have to do that anyways to get the felt to stick to the glue, but we're using it to our advantage to give it a better look. So I'm just going to continue gluing all of the petals into place on our exterior perimeter. So now that the exterior perimeter has petals, we're going to do another um, ridge of petals on the interior. Okay, so we've got all of our exterior and interior petals in place on our little English rose. So now what we want to do is add the little pearl center. So we want to add a tiny little drop of glue. Less is more because you don't want the glue to come flooding out of the edges of the little pearl because that just looks gross. And we want this to look super cute. So I'm just gently pressing it into place. And now what we want to do is remove all of the little strings that our glue gun has created. We can pull all those off. And then we want to let this set, let the glue dry, and then we'll move on to the next step. So now what we want to do is add the final pieces to our flower. So everything has cooled, the glue has set. What we want to do is take a look at the flower and see where the leaves would probably want to go. I'm thinking maybe on this side. So I'm going to flip the flower over and I'm going to add a tiny little dab of glue and we'll just attach our first leaf. It's up to you if you want to use tweezers or your fingers, whatever's easier for you at this stage. So that looks good. So now we're going to add the second leaf 
And we're just gonna add another little dab of glue and then add that second leaf. Now this time I am gonna use my tweezers. I wanna get that in place. Let me pull that out a little bit there. All right. So that looks good. So now what we wanna do is add the flap. So we're just going to take our glue gun and run a little bit of glue on the back. You don't want a lot because it doesn't take a lot to hold the flap. And then you can just press that in place. Now that it's cooled, you'll see that I've only glued half of the flap. And that's okay, that's what you want, because you're going to either add some adhesive to this, maybe like a little dab of glue or some um, Velcro you can attach to it so that it's removable. All you wanna do is just slide it over the little piece of elastic, put the elastic in here, slide it over, add a little dab of glue or your um, Velcro, and then you've got an adorable little English rose ready to go.